Alright guys, I'm going to show you guys how the avatar works and some of her features, so kind of want to get into it quickly. There's a lot to cover, so um, to get into it, we have our settings menu, and we have our standard disable locomotion toggle. Right now, my legs aren't moving when I move. If you want that to happen, you just toggle that, and my legs are now moving again. So that's something you're probably used to. And we have this custom gestures toggle. I'll show you guys what that does in a second. Um, and then we also have a disable facial expressions uh, toggle. So right now, obviously, my facial expressions are working fine. And <clears throat> something to take into note about my facial expressions, the angry face is not on fist. You need to make a fist and squeeze the trigger, and then she'll be angry. This is nice for index because you sometimes rest on uh, fist. And then we have FPS hair. So now if I run around, you can see you can see my hair in first person. If you don't like that, uh, you can turn that off. I think it's really cool, personally, for like, I don't know, when you look down, you can slap your hair around. Now, this world has a really close clipping uh, clipping plane, so you're going to see on the edges of the screen, you're going to see it clipping through my camera. Most worlds don't have the clipping plane that close, so your hair will feel a lot more natural. Um, but something to take into note about this FPS hair toggle, as you can see, I can't see my hair anymore. Um, the only issue with this, uh, because of the way the shader works... Um, if I go into my stream camera, you can see I don't have any hair. This is only local. Um, other players, you can see in the mirror I have hair. But uh, other players will see your hair just fine. But for you, only in the camera, when you have this disabled, your hair is going to be invisible. Now, this only happens with the long hair. The other hairs are totally fine. So, something to take into account. Um, anyway, we can jump into the marker. So this marker is VR Labs uh, particle marker, just modified a little bit. I changed up the logic and added some features and again, changed some things around. So the first thing you'll notice, I have my own custom gesture here. Um, but the first thing you'll notice is that writing is not on finger point. It is on fist and trigger squeeze. So you need to squeeze the trigger to write. Don't think about it too hard. Just think about it as just a standard world marker because that's kind of the feel I was going for. Anyways, you can go and you can toggle the eraser and you'll get this nice little visualizer and then you can erase your writing with the same fist and trigger squeeze. And then you can also flip between left and right handed. Let's see, it'll swap the gestures over as well. Um, and then if left hand, it's the same thing, fist and trigger squeeze to erase. And then if we turn off the eraser, fist and trigger squeeze to write. So, you can clear that. Then we can also change the color of it. Let me do it on this hand. You can see a little better, uh, but we can change the color of it, and that'll change the current color, not the entire color. Um, and then what we can do here, I'm not left-handed, so let me turn that off. Uh, what we can do here is we can uh, move this based on, like, uh, we can attach it to our body in certain places, so we can attach it to our hips. So right now it's moving with my hips, right, the little notepad. And then I can attach it to my chest, and now it's moving with my chest. And then I can attach it to my head. Now you can see it's moving with your head, left hand, and right hand. And then you can place it back. Or you can attach it to your avatar and you can kind of bring your notepad with you. And that's really cool. VR Labs did a really cool job with that marker. But And again, I just changed up some things here and there to uh, for some optimization reasons and then stuff like that. So anyway, we can get into the appearance options. We'll go over materials last. There's a lot of material settings. That's kind of the focus of this, honestly. Um, but to get into the first thing here, we have our nail options. So we have five different nail types to select from right now. So you can see we have default, we have a little bit longer, we have almond shaped, we have square, and then we have stiletto. And all these transition super nicely between each other, really clean and smooth. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then we have our hair options. This is something, um, we have FPS hair enabled <laughs> for the camera reasons. But this is something that I think is really unique in the way that I switch hairs. Um, and when you toggle it, you're going to have a nice point-to-point -point dissolve from the bottom to the top based on where your orientation is. So this is between all of them. It's really smooth and clean. And you can see in the stream camera, uh, you can see from behind. So it's super smooth, super clean, really seamless. I think it's really unique and cool. Um, so then we have our clothing. So we have our top options. We have our jacket and our tank top. You can turn those off. We have our bottoms. We have uh, bikini and thigh highs. We have the, the pants and then we have just the bikini. And then we have straps. So we can turn those on and off as well. Shoes, right? I don't like feet. There you go. That's better. Um, so then we have uh, different options for our sleeves here. So we can take off the jacket so you can see that a little bit better. 
Um, we have the standard lace. I think this is super detailed. I think this is definitely my favorite one. Um, but we have a black, so we can kind of fade to black here and fade back. Then we have latex as well, if you like that look. So we have those options. Then we have accessories. You can toggle all the accessories separately. There's really no need to go through it, but I will. So armbands, the choker, the earrings. You can't really see them, but they're hoops. Uh, the name tag on the leg, the necklace, uh, the rings on your fingers, the glasses, and then the... I call them snake bites. Apparently they're shark bites, but you know, you get the point. Um, and then we have horns. We can turn those off. We have a tail, turn that off as well. And then the fangs, you can kind of see it. So we have fangs right now, if I can keep talking and then I can turn them off and you know, fangs are off kind of like them on, to be honest. Um, but, uh, that's the kind of the clothes and appearance settings. We can get into the materials now. So the first thing you'll notice is we have a bunch of different shading options. So right now we're on the standard tunelet skin. Um, you can switch it to wrapped, which is honestly really, really smooth lighting type. You can mess around with the settings if you want. Um, or you can turn it, uh, turn it to flat lighting, which is a lot more toony, as you can probably tell. Um, but anyway, uh, shaded tune shading is my favorite. Um, wrap is really cool too. Um, and we have this neutral lighting toggle. I'll show you guys what that does in a, in a in a bit you can't really tell in this world because this world is really nice smooth even lighting um and then we have fake metals again this is kind of hard to tell in here but you can a little bit it switches the metals from standard metallics like realistic metallics to a matte cap and if i just go and reset the avatar you can see this a lot better with all the rest of the metals so if i turn this off you can see it switches to a matte cap this is really good in worlds with a lot of bloom because the standard metal has a lot of sheen uh shine <laughs> to it so it can be really really distracting and really annoying in bloom worlds as you probably have experienced before with other avatars if you don't want that turn it to fake metals and you'll have a much better experience being able to see um and then we have our audio link toggle so this toggles emission overall as well as the audio link settings personally i like having it off most of the time because i think she looks really good and just completely black um, but if you want to have this on, you can go ahead and turn that on and we have this emission on everything here. Same with the, um, the thigh highs too. That is a really cool emission pattern on them. Um, but, uh, we'll get into the, uh, the, the way the audio link looks in a bit. I think it looks really, really cool and unique personally. Um, but, uh, to get into some of the colors, we have four different, uh, color options here. We have our hair so we can change our hair separately from everything else and we have white and black with it as well uh, we can do our main color so that's going to be the main color of the audio link and the emission and this is going to affect the tail the pants uh, all the basically all the main colors right um and then we have our audio link color you won't be able to see this because we don't have audio link on we're not an audio link enabled world but this will change the audio link colors obviously and again i'll show you guys that in a bit i really think the audio link is a killer on this and we have our eye color. This is a hue shift, not a color shift. So you're not going to get white and black. Um, and then we have a rainbow cycle. This is just going to cycle everything from exactly where it started. Um, this thing is really cool. It kind of, you can see that the hair is changing separately from the clothes. Um, and you can see that's based on where I started. So if I go ahead and pause the rainbow cycle, um, I can set, we'll say set this to the same purple around the same number. And I rainbow cycle and it'll start from that color with everything. But if I wanted to go in, like we said a second ago, and switch this to like red, and then I cycle it, the hair is going to start off at red, and the body is going to start off at um, whatever color it was as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, let me just reset the avatar again. So we have also some lip colors here. So we have standard black, it's all top lip colors, and then we can do natural, and then we can do red. So those are three options there. Um, that's about it for all of the material settings besides audio link, which I'll show you guys in a bit, but to show you guys kind of the toys that she has, it's kind of standard on my avatars, seeing all these cool things, um, as far as toys go and ADHD stuff, but we have our bats. They don't do anything besides hold in your hand and have nice custom gestures. I kind of was really bored and putting off working on the avatar. So I made bats and then I put them on because why not? Right. Um, and then we have this kunai system, which you guys have, might have seen before in my previous avatars. Um, if you haven't, it's basically a throwable knife. You have a bunch of different positions that you can hold it in your hands. So it's left and right handed. Um, and if you hold a fist, it'll go on your right hand with your right hand. If you hold a fist in your left hand, 
and do a neutral in your right it's going to go into your left and then on index i know this works like a charm but i know on uh, oculus and um the vibe wands they it might not work as well or it might not work at all um but if you hold a fist and you squeeze the trigger it's going to flip back to backhand so you can swap between backhand and forehand i think is really really satisfying personally um, and if you don't like this behavior, you can go ahead and disable the reverse grip here. So now I'm squeezing the trigger and nothing's happening. Um, and then what I can do now is I can show you guys kind of all the positions. So you have fist and then like we said, backhand peace sign will go between your fingers. Uh, finger point will bring it to your pointer finger so you can spin it around and you can kind of just flip between them all and kind of <laughs> just throw the knife around. And the same thing with, uh, both hands, you can send it back and forth between any of these states and you can just flip it around and have a lot of fun with it. It's just fun to play with. Um, and then also the kind of the coolest thing in my opinion is you can throw this and this is throwing is where it differs from my last avatars before you threw it and it just kind of exploded into some sparks with this one. When you throw it, it's going to stick into the ground. I think it's really satisfying. It's also, it doesn't care what position it was in when it hits the wall. Some colliders are kind of off, but you can see it sticks out at whatever angle I throw it in, which I think looks really cool. It's really satisfying having it stick into walls. Um, but that's an option that wasn't uh, available on my last ones. And finally, we have our thumbs up throw. This is for the non-index crowd or even the index crowd. If you guys don't like feeling like you're going to throw your controllers across the room, instead of open hand to throw, you can make thumbs up and it's going to throw instead. Pretty self-explanatory, to be honest. But yeah, works great. And then also this knife is going to change color based on your primary color. So if I go back into our material settings and primary, I can change the color of the knife along with the primary color of everything else. So important note. Um, oh, and it goes white. It doesn't go black. It goes white though. Black looks kind of weird. So I didn't put it in. Um, so then we can go ahead and disable that. We can go into our throw joint. So... The throw joint is something you've seen before, but you haven't quite seen it done like this yet. At least I haven't seen it before, um, and I haven't made it before in this system. It's kind of throw joint 2.5. It's not released yet officially, but it will be eventually. Um, anyways, so standard throw joint, you enable it, and finger point on the right hand. Finger point with your left hand and your right hand, it'll go in between. And then finger point with your left hand, and it'll go onto your left hand. So this is something you've seen before. Um... But something uh, you probably haven't seen before are the positions. So now, instead of it just being on my finger, I can move it to my hips. And right now, you saw when I moved it to my hips, nothing happened. That's because this, this position here replaces the throw, right? So if you're on the hands mode, you can actually throw it. Now, if you're on hips or left leg or left foot or right foot, you can let go. And it's going to go ahead and on hips, it's going to orbit around your hips forever, um, which is pretty cool. And that works with dual joints as well. So we have two, uh, one on left hand, one on right hand, and it's going to orbit around separately. And then I can go ahead and catch them and it'll do the same thing. I can throw them again and it's going to go around my body. And this, again, is going to keep the velocity that you, that you had when you threw it. So if I throw it really shallow, it'll stay really close. And if I throw it really fast, it's going to go farther away. And then again, we can catch them. And now we can kind of uh, also put it on each foot here. So I'm going to do that. Um, so I can take it on my right hand, take it on my left, right? And then I can throw it onto my right foot. And I think the feet is interesting to play with. If you have good balance, you can kind of spin it around your foot and then send it around your body if you switch to the hips at the right point. So I think it's really fun to play with. So again, you can see my menu here. When I uh, switch it to my hips, I can kick it around, switch it to my hips, and it's going to fly around like that. And same with the left foot, you can do the same thing. Or if you don't want to do that, you can just catch it between your hands and send it back to your foot. You kind of do figure eights if you want. It's just fun to play with. And then you can send it right back to your hips if you want, and it'll spin like that. But if you want to throw it again, you can just switch it back to throwable and let it go and it'll fly across the room. Now, another cool feature about this throw joint that hasn't been on my previous ones is that you can throw as many as you want there's no performance impact before you would kind of like run out of throw joints. If you threw too many, this one isn't going to do that. Um, and it's not like it's laggy or anything like that. This system just deletes the oldest particle 
that has been spawned. So it's actually more performant than my old system, um, but you can throw as many as you want. You can see I'm not stopping. And this works on both left hand and right hand joints. So that's, I think that's really cool. Uh, <laughs> that, that, uh, that little quote unquote issue is fixed. Um, but anyway, we have shooting mode. So if I go ahead and reset these, I can make finger point and then shoot. Again, you can shoot as many as you want. You just kind of spam them around. And you can see when I'm shooting them, it's a little slow. If you don't want that, you can go into the physics options. And we have three options here. We have gravity, faster bouncing, and speed limit. These are things you've probably seen before. So gravity will just remove gravity. And this happens for all of the throw joints that are currently in the air. So if I turn gravity back on, you can see that all of a sudden they have gravity again. And vice versa. So then faster bouncing, this is just going to make them go 10% faster every time they bounce. Um, and then it's no speed limit. It's going to disable the speed limit on them, obviously. This uh, speed limit is really noticeable with shooting. So if I go back into shooting here and I shoot them with the speed limit, they're kind of slow. If I go in and turn off the speed limit and shoot them, they go a lot faster and they all freak out around the room. <laughs> and the particles, the smoke particles can't keep up because they're going so fast. But anyway... That's, uh, that's about it for the avatar. Uh, again, we have our audio link features to go over in a second. So we'll go over that. I think, again, those are really, really cool. Um, <laughs> so definitely uh, keep watching for that. All right, guys. I'm going to show you the, uh, the audio link settings really quickly. So you can see also, um, we can actually show you the neutral lighting toggle that I was talking about earlier. You can see right now, she's kind of dark. I mean, she matches the environment, but... Personally, I think it's a little bit too blue. So to fix that, I could just toggle the neutral lighting on and you can see it fades nicely into neutral lighting. So this lighting is forced. You're going to see she's going to look the exact same as this uh, if you toggle this on in uh, every single world. So anyway, we can get into the audio link. You can see here she looks a lot better when it's in the dark, obviously, with audio link. Um, so you can see again, if we go in, we can change the main color. And that's going to change all of this. Let me just move this quickly out of the way so we can go change the main color and this is going to affect all of this white and black um, we can change the hair color again which i showed you guys before it's going to change this and the audio link color you're not going to see that just yet and then the eye color as well it's going to change this as you've already seen so you can kind of go over here and play the music And you're going to be able to see the audio link in action here. So basically, the way that it works um, on the sleeves, you have UV distortion, which is being driven by audio link on uh, the low mid. And then you're going to have the dissolve, which is going to mask in. Um, you can see that it's going to mask in uh, kind of top down, like a soundbar effect. You can see it better. If we change the audio link color. Say we go with like an orange here. You can see it uh, it's going to dissolve up and down on the shoulders and because you have white and black with the audio link you can even change the base color to be completely black and then you can really see the uh sound bar look on the arms and the legs so this is going to do the exact same thing here if you turn the thigh highs on you're going to see they have a little bit of a different effect here um it's easier to see if you don't have the black light look on so if I want to go back to red, you can see they have this interesting effect where they have a lot of distortion to them. I really like that effect personally. Um, and then again, you can change all of these colors independently. So if I wanted to do, I personally really like this cyan look. So I can change this to this and I can change the, you can try like a pinkish color. If I can find it here. I think it's up here actually. <laughs> there it is. I found it. Okay, so you can see it's got this pink color. It's kind of like a bubblegum kind of kind of look. And then we can go back to these and turn that on. You can see the effect. It's pretty cool. Um, and with that black light look, you can kind of invert it too. So you can turn the uh, audio link color to black. And it's going to do the opposite look of the sound bars, which I think also looks pretty neat. Um, but that is her audio link settings. You can rainbow cycle too, which again is going to do what we talked about before. It's going to go ahead and cycle through the colors based on where you started. So you can see the hair is 
the hair audio link color are changing separately from the main color um but yeah that's about it for her audio link settings um her audio link is mainly focused around bass with some treble accents um in there if you want to change that you can change that in the shader um i haven't put options like that into um in live in game because we kind of ran out of variables a little bit um but if you want to change that go ahead and tweak it in game or rather <laughs> tweak it in unity um but that's about it uh, hopefully you guys liked her hopefully you guys uh, are interested in her uh, anyway thanks guys